everybody. How's it going? Uh, my name is Aaron Lane, and I'm with Cryptic Books, right over here. And we're the same people who brought you Trigger Men. Good book. You should pick one up. Uh, anyways, today we're going to be talking with Amanda Goebel, and she's actually the artist for our new series that's coming out soon. We actually have it on Kickstarter. I'm sure we'll have it in a little link below here somewhere. Um, but she's the artist for that, and we're going to be talking with her today and kind of talking about her process and some cool behind-the-scenes stuff. So let's get started. Hey, Amanda, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I am well. It's been a really long day, but I'm glad we finally got to do this interview. Yes. <laughs> it, it took a couple tries. <laughs> yeah, right after all our technical difficulties. Yeah. Anyways, um, so I guess to get started, um, let's go with a very basic question. What is kind of your art background? All right. Um, well, I've been drawing for a long time, uh, but professionally... I just finished a comic called Vessel. I, I took over for an artist um, <laughs> who who I don't I don't know they dropped out or something like that. I didn't ask questions, but <laughs> fantastic. I, yeah. <laughs> so I went over and I took probably fifty forty pages off of their their hands. So that's good. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Before that, I've been doing like book covers and stuff like that and uh, comics on my own just for fun. <laughs> awesome. Do you have any of your yeah. own comics with you right now? Uh, no, no, not at the what? moment. <laughs> Everything I own is in another place right now. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Well, you yeah. kinda, the next question I was going to ask was if you'd already been involved in the comic book medium before, but clearly you've already answered that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I guess on to the next one. Um, you must like working in the comic book form, I assume, yeah? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's one of my favorite. I've always wanted to be um, in the comic book world. Ever since I was young, um, it what I don't know. I, I've always I've read like Spider Man when I was younger, and uh -huh. then I read manga, and <laughs> then I got reintroduced into like Hawkeye and DC and all of that stuff. So it's always been a medium that I've been interested in, and I'm just so happy that I'm able to do that now. <laughs> awesome, that's really cool. Well, I'm super stoked that we somehow got to snag such a talented artist. Um, so, but some of these questions I don't even know the answers to. So, how did you even get involved with Triptych Books? Like, I mean, Kyle, the writer for Oper Operation Penumbra, who's also our editor-in-chief, um, you got in contact with him, I guess? Mm -hmm, yeah. Well, um, last year at Emerald City Comic Con, which is in Seattle, I went with a couple of friends, and while we were there, I uh, <laughs> we bumped into their table, sort of, and <laughs> I... <laughs> we we loved Trigger Men. Um, we, hadn't, we didn't know about it beforehand, but you know, yeah, there is. <laughs> but two hit men, you know, who are just bros, which was just really awesome, and we thought that was just such a great idea. So we picked it up, and we read it that night. We all just really loved it, so we had to go back, and we ended up buying, like, everything they had, each one of us. We were a big group, <laughs> and uh, talking off their ears. And then later on, like a couple months later, I ended up... Um, uh, giving an email to Kyle, who is the editor of uh, Triggerman and the writer of Operation Penumbra. But I, I, I asked him, I was like, well, I just really love your book, and I would love it if I could, <laughs> if I could have, a, like, I don't know, a fan art comic or something of it. I just really want to be a part of it. <laughs> and, like, after a couple of emails, I ended up working for Operation Penumbra as the artist, which was really cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. And so working for... Operation Penumbra, I mean, we've established you like working in the comic book form. Uh, Operation Penumbra takes place in World War II, and so how do you feel about working on a comic centered around, I mean, obviously there's some mythology in it, but centered around a lot of, like, historical, you know, World War II uh, actual stuff? It's my favorite part, <laughs> my favorite part of it. <laughs> it's actually one of the main reasons I decided to go on board of it, because, <laughs> uh, I've always been a really big fan of like studying World War Two and World War One. I'm just a big fan of history. Um, Much so, like Kyle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it, it's not really a job. It's more like having fun and drawing what I've already drawn. <laughs> That's awesome. So, Do you yeah. and Kyle ever go back and forth on your history? Because I know Kyle is like a huge history nerd. Sorry, yeah. Kyle, I'm calling you a history nerd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do. And he knows a lot more than me, so I'm <laughs> able to learn more about the people that I'm drawing, which is great. So now I I know so much about Patton 
<laughs> and I'm so happy about that. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, to, he is a big patent fan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I get to pass my knowledge onto all of my friends. I think I've given each one of them like a 45 minute overview of. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we got it. We got. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, you don't understand. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. So. So how is it uh, working with Kyle on this project? I mean, like, what's your guys' kind of, like, workflow? Because obviously he's super into history, and so, I mean, does he does he really paint a scene, or are you kind of left up to doing whatever for your panels? He paints the scene, which is very good. <laughs> <laughs> um, so he, he, like, he gives, a like, a paragraph long of uh, what to draw, which is really helpful for me for this. So there aren't many things I can actually forget to put on it. Uh-huh. <laughs> So, I mean, I've had comics where um, I've had to draw and, <laughs> like, no one mentioned that there's this prop in this particular scene and then I'm, like, lost a couple pages later because I didn't know it was supposed to be in there. Oh, <laughs> by the way? <laughs> no, yeah, exactly. So so this one is really well thought out and it's very it's very nice. <laughs> That's awesome. Mm-hmm, um, I'm not, yeah. So working with that process then... Of going, did you guys go back and forth a lot, or is it just kind of like oh, a yeah. lot of like you get it, you nail it, one and done kind of thing? <laughs> uh, we we do go back and forth a lot. I end up I send him him sketch after sketch of each page of like is, is this right? <laughs> did I draw this face right? And he'll be like, oh, that no, it's just like, yeah, <laughs> or or that looks awesome, keep going. <laughs> so uh, um, each each step I take. Um, I always get confirmation from him. So sketch to line art to uh, color, background, all of that. Oh, wow. So you that. go through the, the whole process with him. Then. The whole process. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess that helps with, like, trying to find things. And, I mean, one thing I know Triptych's really big on is turning out quality work, so that definitely helps. Yeah. <laughs> um, so of that whole process, then, what do you think is your favorite part? My favorite part is, uh, well, just drawing the characters. <laughs> characters are my favorite part. Guns are my least favorite part. Um, <laughs> why are, why, why, okay, so we're going to sidetrack for a second. Why are guns your least favorite part? <laughs> well, I haven't drawn guns as much in my life as I, I feel I should have. <laughs> we we so, have all we should have all have been drawing guns our whole life. <laughs> I know, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> but, uh, so, and since each character has a different gun, I've had to study guns a lot. <laughs> which is Which is actually, it's a lot of fun because I've been able to watch, like, rifles being taken apart and put back together and seeing like what kind of sounds or what kind of what happens when they are you know shot uh-huh. and <laughs> i i've been learning a lot about guns can you, <laughs> but can you take a gun apart blindfolded now and put it back together oh yeah every time every night <laughs> you know before bed <laughs> every time with a stopwatch click <laughs> exactly i can do this <laughs> but uh, uh yeah <laughs> that that's the hardest part that is the hardest part <laughs> gotcha and so what has been I guess, difficult about them? Is it, like, Uh, their size, their shape? (laughs) Their shapes. They're so (laughs) straight. (laughs) I love, I love wiggly lines. (laughs) It's one of my favorite parts about drawing people. I can draw wiggly lines and the creases and stuff like that. Angry faces. (laughs) But, uh, with guns, it's very, this is how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be straight. It's supposed to have an edge that tweaks a little bit right there. It's, yeah. Ah, it's just so non-organic. <laughs> so many straight lines. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so many. <laughs> so I think we were talking about what your favorite part of the process is before I interrupt you. So what would you say is your favorite part of the entire process of working on Operation I really love coloring. <laughs> it makes really? me feel like I'm a kid again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like coloring in the lines that I make. That's one of my favorite parts. And then uh, shading and all of that. And then I love drawing the characters and all of their different expressions whether it's like they're in agony or they're having fun. That's just a lot of fun. <laughs> well, there's torments are fun. I love drawing them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so what would you say then on the flip side, what do you, would you say is your least favorite part? Besides the, besides the guns. Well, guns, um, <laughs> guns can be it too. If you want it to be guns, yeah. they can be that too. Um, besides the guns, uh, the sketch, getting the sketch out of the way is kind of hard. Uh-huh. <laughs> I mean, it, I wouldn't say it's hard. It's just, it's tedious. I like... I have this tendency to rush forward and just want to do everything, but sketch makes me slow down and focus on the details before I go into line art. Gotcha. Until you get to your yeah. favorite part of coloring. <laughs> yeah, I love coloring. <laughs> <laughs> so in this whole process, I know Triptych Books as a company, we're we're located all over the place. I mean, right now we're doing a, uh, a remote interview. 
Um, I know Kyle is in Northern California. Kyle and Mike are both in Grass Valley, California. I'm down here in Long Beach, California. You're in Washington. I mean, we've got people all over the place. So how mm -hmm. is it working remotely? Um, so alone. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, it's fine. I mean, I'm able to talk to people on Facebook and I mean, whoever I need to talk to, I'm able to talk to them. So I, I don't really feel very remote from them. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, most of my business interactions have always been through Facebook or uh, through email. So it's nothing new for me. Gotcha. <laughs> and how is, uh, how is that technology treating you? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Sorry, everybody. We, we've had a ton of technological difficulties. We've just kind of chalked it up to like evil technology demons. Yeah, around <laughs> around eight hours of evil technology. Yeah, it's, it's been terrible. Anyway, um, so okay, well, we're kind of nearing the end of our interview. We wanted to keep it kind of short, but um, to kind of sign off and end, um, out of all the characters in Operation Penumbra, what would you say is your favorite allied character? Hmm. I'd say uh Harold. Harold. I think yeah, he's he's the really pale one. I made him very pale. I'm so sorry. <laughs> hey, back off the pale people. <laughs> yeah. Um but he he always looks really sickly and he just got these big puffy dog eyes. That's my favorite part. Okay. <laughs> makes me sound lame, but that's my favorite part. And um Steven the main character well he's not necessarily the main character but in my mind, he's the main character. He's the <laughs> big buff one. Um, <laughs> he's really fun to draw too, just because uh, it reminds me of all of those like Indiana Jones films when I'm drawing him. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, and then on the flip side of that, what do you think is your favorite Axis character? So, I mean, in the Axis, what do we got? We got the, the Sandwalkers, the Jin, the Succubi, yeah. the Ghouls. I love the Succubi. I love drawing them. <laughs> They're the girls, and they're, I, I got to base them off of uh, sort of, I made them black and white, which was really awesome, because it's all noir film sort of look, and um, <laughs> I don't know, I had a lot of thought put into them, and I can't remember who, <laughs> well, they're basically like army entertainer girls, except, uh, you know, they're pure evil. And <laughs> <laughs> they're pure evil, and they'll just, they'll kill you, and, you yeah. know. <laughs> They're just a lot of fun to draw, and I feel like it's going to be fun drawing all of their, you know, crazy fingernails and their wicked teeth. The ghouls are fun, too, dude. I, yeah. I just really love drawing The ghouls are, are by far, like, my favorite. Like, Kyle, I know he sent me some pictures of, like, some concept work or something of the ghouls. He's like, dude, check these out. And I was like, whoa, those are awesome! <laughs> okay, the ghouls are my favorite. I love, I love drawing the ghouls. <laughs> I've always um, drawn really gory zombie things since I was young, so being able to finally say, that's my work, I get paid for that. Right? It's very nice. Instead of your teacher being like, I think there's something wrong with your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> God. Well, I think, I think that's all we have time for for today, uh, but thanks so much for talking with us. Um, okay. are, you, are you doing some more work today? Yes. <laughs> oh, man, you are a workaholic. What? Nah. <laughs> uh, anyways, thanks so much for talking with us, Amanda, and uh, I'm sure we'll probably do another one of these interviews sometime soon. Um, and for you guys there at home, uh, we've been talking about Operation Penumbra, which is uh, our newest series from Triptych Books, uh, creators of Triggerman also. And um, the project now is actually on Kickstarter, and we'll have a link below. Um, for those of you who don't know, it uh, follows... A group of soldiers from World War II in North Africa under the command of General Patton, and they're trying to stop the Axis powers from weaponizing creatures of mythology and folklore. It's a pretty cool concept. We're really excited, and uh, yeah, you'll probably be hearing from us soon. Thanks so much for listening, and thanks again, Amanda. No problem. <laughs> All right. Cheers. Bye. Bye.